city in the state of Wisconsin, also the northernmost city in the state of Wisconsin. We're located on the shores of uh, the, what we call the greatest of all the Great Lakes, Lake Superior. To start off, I want to give a one-sentence comment from the Lake Superior Binational Forum vision statement, which is water is life, and the quality of water determines the quality of life. I think that's a backbone of what many of us uh, throughout Wisconsin, and I know particularly up in the Lake Superior area, truly believe. This whole process of AB1, SB1, I believe we need a cost-benefit analysis to make sure what is happening and who will really benefit and what the costs are. This current bill does not provide necessary protection for Lake Superior in my mind. I've looked through it and been disappointed. Tourism is our main industry in Bayfield, and any destruction or severe contamination of the Lake Superior watershed will literally destroy our valuable economy. In Bayfield, our tagline is where the water meets the soul. It's a phrase we use to tell people about Bayfield and the Apostle Islands. I believe that's a brief but a very powerful statement about our commitment to the environment. The Apostle Islands National Lakeshore is, uh, uh, was rated by uh, I believe it was National Geographic Traveler uh, several years ago as the most pristine national park or subsidiary of the park system in the lower 48. So we're very proud of it, very pleased. We have, in the area, we have a sport fishery, draws people from all over the country. We have subsistence fisheries. There are folks up in the area that need to fish in order to eat, to live. We also have commercial fisheries, comprised of both Native American and non-Native uh, fisheries, and they are important for their contribution to our local food economy. Our restaurants all feature fresh fish. Uh, every day that's possible, they do. We are known for our apple orchards and our small fruit berry farms. Those farms need clean air and water to survive. AB1, SB1 in its current form is not going to provide that for us. Bayfield is uh, a strong supporter of the Travel Green Program for the state of Wisconsin. We're a very small community, uh, just several hundred people. We have more travel green businesses in our community, in our business area, than any other area or city in the state of Wisconsin. Our folks get it, they understand it. They're certainly in business, they like to make money, but they also know that the protection of our big assets are really important. Bayfield is also an eco-municipality. So we were one of the first uh, three or four in the country. I believe Washburn was the first, Ashland may have been the second. We were either third or fourth. This is about uh, eight, nine years ago, seven years ago, perhaps. Uh, which is an important thing. We, we have a commitment to keeping the earth a good place and leaving it at least as good as we found it, hopefully better. I ask that all the senators and representatives who are voting on this AB1, SB1, to ask themselves if their constituents who want their lakes, rivers, and streams to be without environmental protection. I bet if they asked, they would find that their constituents would have tremendous concern. Asking them to please help all the citizens of Wisconsin have a healthy environment. In summary, basically, it can be laid down in just a few words. Do no harm to Lake Superior. That's where it's at, from my point of view. If we can accomplish that, then the world is our oyster. There's lots of things that can be done. All of us in Wisconsin are stewards of an international asset, as Mayor Wyman said, that has 10% of the all fresh water, surface water in the entire world. It's hard to imagine. I look out my door, my house every morning, and I look at that lake, and I think that's 10% of the water you're going to find in the entire world. It takes more than 190 years to move a drop of water through Lake Superior. It takes that long to flush out the system. It just, it just is. It's so big and it's so deep which means any contaminants will be in our water for a very, very long time, for way too long. I believe this mining legislation can be fixed with careful amendments where everyone has a potential benefit. Finally, from our old friend Gaylord Nelson, the economy is a wholly owned subsidiary of the environment, not the other way around. Thank you much.